Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on December 6th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the world update, looking at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes. Starting out here, looking at the sun, as we do have a calming sun, earth facing sunspot, but it seems to be showing some small flares in the southern region there. Also a sunspot in the northern region outgoing region and then a large plasma lift here off the northwestern limb you can see in the last few images that swirl a plasma tornado looking here at the incoming images the last 24 hours and as well outgoing very active solar maximum we're in now solar cycle 25 Stay safe, stay aware and prepared as we have a collapsed magnetosphere and a lot affects us when those space weather events come and we will be expecting some in the coming weeks. So please stay safe, aware and prepared. Stay tuned to Morning Dew. Looking here at Lasco 2 images and you can see this is what a quiet sun looks like at Lasco. No major filaments or flares to report. Now our solar wind has been steady at about 300 kilometers per second and diminishing. And it's been steady like that for the past day. Increased density bunches. Looking here at the Schumann residence, it is off the chart, off the charts again. Power of 15. Now I wasn't able to show this last week, but it had done this last week. I'm not sure what's going on. But we are at a power of 15 and a small frequency hertz of 7.8. Let's get to earthquakes. Largest the last 24 hours here. 6.1 in Chile that was reported early today. And if you check out the live stream, you can look at all the most recent earthquakes from around the world. And as well, this morning we had earthquakes throughout California, Lakeport, California. Four point four reported early this morning. First initial reports were five point two, and it was quickly downgraded but south into Warner Springs, California as well with a 3.6. Across the plains, New Mexico, 2.7. Oklahoma, 2.5. And a border with Canada, Stanley, Idaho, 2.5, or close to the border with Canada. And just recently, there was a 2.7 reported in Yellowstone as well. So stay safe, stay aware. There's a lot going on in the West Coast. And I've got some very compelling evidence to share with you so stay tuned looking here 5.1 in japan as well at 4.5 east of japan island quiet throughout indonesia 4.2 there reported 4.6 in vanuatu tonga region 5.1 shallow as well 4.5 shallow 4.9 reported overnight Bella in the islands region as well a 4.8 here reported in South Africa that was overnight as well 4.9 in Turkmenistan 
five point or four point one Turkey today, and as well reported yesterday, five point three in Turkey. Albania four point six. And the Tyrrhenian Sea with a 4.0 right beside Stromboli and Etna. And Etna is exploding today. Many eruptions being reported. Puerto Rico shocking and we're rocking. Guatemala with a 4.3. South America 4.3. Chile 4.2. And this was before the 6.1 is reported. And have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes as our planet looks like a human pin cushion right now very deep earthquakes all across the world everywhere but north america pretty much looking at deep earthquakes mediterranean south america all across the ring of fire puerto rico but then just quiet and shallow earthquakes all across the north american plate you gotta really wonder what's happening along the west coast, long valley, volcanic fields showing a lot of activity. And if you're wondering what I mean by activity, we're talking about ash cloud. That's right, stay safe, stay aware and prepared because have a look at this, geostationary satellites showing high ash cloud content being observed overnight. Now this was just yesterday and the, the two nights prior to that, I had released another video where this volcanic ash was observed. So what could be happening all across the Long Valley volcanic field, up into the Cascades? We've got ghost volcanoes all across the West Coast. And now we've got sulfur emissions and ash content being observed. So stay safe. A lot is going on. Have a, here, have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center as there are quite a few volcanoes that are erupting as well. Just wanted to give you a quick show here. It's a 6.1 in Iquique, Chile. Not a very populated area, but just on the border with Bolivia. Have a look at the most recent volcanoes being updated as there are many. De Kono in Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Popo, Nevados de Chilean, Luatola, Fuego, Ibu, Raventador, Sabincaya, Kluchevskoy, Manam, Semeru, Merapi, Era, Talika. So that's about 20 volcanoes that are actively erupting right now. These are all just updates. So stay tuned. Later today, we will have the volcanic activity report. And we'll have a look again at all of the active and erupting volcanoes from around the world as we just have this strong, weird, high pressure ridge hanging around. Makes you wonder where all this heat is coming from to keep the high pressure locked in there. Stay safe. There's a lot going on. Let's get to Meteor Earth. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Starting out here, looking at Calgary, Alberta, as we still have above seasonal temperatures but things will be cooling off in the long range forecast, not quite the five day, but the long range forecast, Siberian polar vortex is building and will be coming around when she comes. But we will see a small amount of flurries overnight Thursday, Wednesday into Thursday, but still temperatures well above seasonable. So we may even see rain, depends on how strong this Siberian polar vortex is looking at a lot of rain coming into the Vancouver coastline and all of all across the BC coast actually with these large low pressure systems we've been talking about for the past couple weeks as they still are joining forces and getting organized just to be these monsters in the Pacific and as well the Atlantic. Y'all seen the movie The Day After Tomorrow? That was based on a computer animated future forecast. Let's have a look at this large system coming up the eastern seaboard of the United States and will affect Newfoundland and the Atlantic provinces. Possible blizzard like conditions as that low pressure system whips up the coastline. Looking here over Europe 
as yeah we you guys aren't going to see the sun for days it's going to be very patchy as these low pressure systems have invaded the mediterranean and they just keep spinning around and coming in from the north atlantic so stay safe my european friends looking here across russia as you can see these cold temperatures really start to drop across eastern and central parts looking at minus 42 and i'm sure that's without the wind chill well actually it is without the wind chill probably looking at minus 50 to minus 60 maybe even colder parts of thailand you could see a tropical storm coming in later in the week no cyclones to talk about in the indian ocean except for this one here but won't be affecting humanity but australia now there's quite a situation developing here as these low pressure systems are coming in from the northwest and they're going to bring tons of rain so watch for flash flooding conditions across northwestern australia and central as well looking at southeastern parts cool and some rain moving in but definitely it's going to be an extreme wheat extreme week across australia as these lows move in they will bring some pretty extreme weather overlooking central america you can see that one low moving out of the gulf racing up the eastern seaboard south america heavy rains towards coastlines of panama and colombia other than that just daytime daily evaporation rains warm really warm temperatures moving into argentina and heavy rains later in the week for paraguay bolivia and then southward to chile i want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in today if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button i'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern as that big northern polar vortex is ramping up and ready to move in. Stay warm, stay safe, aware, and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.